What's up, what's up there, internet land? It's your girl, Sean here, your favorite internet cousin, coming to you live from the car, another episode of Sean's Car Chronicles. Coming to you live here from Boston, Mass. It is about 88 degrees here this morning, so it is hot already at not even quite 10 o'clock. So what's going on, fam? It's been a while since I've come on here to do a Car Chronicles. I know I just did a live, I believe, last week. I was feeling in the mood to do one, so I did one. But today's another episode of Car Chronicles. So it is now, let's see, Wednesday. How is everyone's Wednesday going? If this is your first time living in with me, just say, uh, just put a one and say, hey, what's up? If you've been here before, just put a number two and say, hey, what's up? And if you catch this on the replay, just put simply hashtag replay. All right. So listen, I'm not going to be before you long this morning. I see someone just um, just just got on. So I can't see who that is. Right. Sorry about that. Of course, no one calls until I get on the phone. Right. <clears throat> so <clears throat> what I want to talk to you today was about and I know that I've talked about this subject before. Um, but I, I wanted to go back and revisit it. I was listening to a great podcast today, this morning, on my drive. Um, and it's about being grateful. Again, I know I've touched on this sub subject before, but I really just wanted to come back on today and really kind of stress this point. She gave some great analogies on um, ways for us to really just be grateful for the things that we have. So... <clears throat> One of the things that she talked about, and I'm sure you guys can all agree, most of you have probably heard or been asked the question, is the glass half empty or is it full? And, you know, depending on who you're talking to, you're going to get a, a, a different variation, um, you know, of that the, uh, answer for that question. And that's cool. But here's what I liked, what she said about, you know, what whether the glass is half full or half empty. And it's simply to be grateful that you have a glass to even pour it into. And I thought that that was very deep and very profound because a lot of times we will sit and we will complain and we'll talk about what we don't have, but we won't acknowledge what we do have. So another great analogy she talked about talking to her son um, and them having a conversation and dialogue. And a lot of times, you know, we may say, I'm guilty of it. I need to do my laundry. I hate doing laundry. I don't feel like doing laundry. But guess what, folks? Be grateful that you have a washing machine to do the laundry. Be grateful that you have a dryer to dry your clothes to finish up the laundry. We got to really get out of complaining, talking about what we don't want versus being grateful for what we do have and that is really important you know another great analogy that she shared was doing dishes oh you go in the kitchen and there's a sink full of dishes I went to the kitchen last night you know I want to make sure that I straighten up the kitchen before I went to bed and I'm fortunate to have a dishwasher so I didn't have to do the manual labor of actually standing there washing dishes although sometimes I still do that but as as opposed to complaining about, oh, I got a sink full of dishes. Oh, I got to wash the dishes. Be thankful that you have the dish soap to wash the dishes. Be grateful that you have, hey, Miss McLean, what's going on? Thank you for living in with me. Be thankful that you have the dish towel or the dish rag to wash the dishes. Be grateful that you have a dishwasher to put the dishes in. Be grateful that you have dishwashing liquid to put in the dishwasher. So I, I really just, I mean, that really touched um, touched me today. I mean, it really hit home for me. And I really want to come on this morning and just, just simply share that. You know, be grateful of the things that you do have. Because a lot of times, think about it this way. Things that we complain about sometimes and don't want to do with things that we don't have. There are people who um, there are people who wish they had 
what we had. There are people who wish that they had a washing machine, even if it's in a building, if they live in a building, that there's even a washing machine in the building. Some people wish that they had dish soap to even wash the dishes with. Some people wish that they had a multitude of towels to pick from when you get ready to go take a shower. So I want you to just be mindful and just be grateful for what we do have. We, we all go through issuations, as I like to say. We all do. I'm sure my sister here can attest to that, but we all go through issuations. But be grateful for what we do have. Be grateful for the family that you do have. If you're able to reach out to your family members when something's going on, just to vent. Be grateful that that family member's there for you. Whatever it is, I want you guys to really take a look and dig dig deep and dive in and find. be grateful for what you do have. So when you walk in that kitchen or you walk in that room and say, oh, my bed's a mess or I don't feel like making my bed, be grateful that you have a bed. So that's all I want to share with you today, folks. I just wanted you guys to be grateful. I appreciate the love, the likes. I appreciate it all. I appreciate you guys for uh, coming on, taking time out of your busy schedule to come and check check out your internet cousin, see what she's talking about. But listen, folks, before I go, I also want to share something with you. Now, you guys know I have a love of travel. I also have a travel group. Now, I am running a contest um, this week. Um, so I'm going to actually drop the link to the group there. I want you guys to go to my travel Facebook group, click on photos, and find your birthday month. Um, what's up, what's up Stefan? Appreciate you for living in. I want you to find your birthday month and I want you to go in and I want you to type what you type in your birthday. Because at the end of the week, I'm going to be giving away a free copy of my uh, book that I wrote, uh, The Cruising Guide. That I, that I wrote um, about a year, about two years ago now. So I, got, I want you guys to do that. Again, I'm gonna drop the link to the Facebook group um, in, at the, in, in the, after this video is over. And I want you guys to go over there and become a member of the group. I share some great tips. We talk about different things. I'm going live more in that group as well. I'll probably go live in that group a little bit later on today. Um, so, you know, I'll make another announcement about that. But definitely come over, check out the group and uh find your month and drop your birth date in there all right and again if you guys want to know what it is that i do um on the side to make a, a, a an income from the comforts of home just simply inbox me and just say more info and i'll be glad to share that with you all right folks that's it that's all i got today remember be grateful until the next video guys as always peace